Hey everybody and thank you so much for joining me here today on Blind Whiskey Reviews, the most honest reviews on YouTube. Today we're bringing you another speedy sample review and if it's your first time joining us, I've got 24 samples in these two boxes. These samples are made up of whiskeys that have been sent to me by distilleries, whiskeys that have been sent to me by people out there in the whiskey world, and whiskeys that I've already reviewed, had the bottle open a few months, put it into a sample bottle so we can see how it's doing a few months down the line. So without further ado, let's get into the whiskey. We've got our random number generator programmed with 24 samples, and today we will be trying sample number 19. So we've got 12 in this box, 16, 17, 18, and 19. Looking away, pouring some whiskey. All right. On the nose. Some big fruit, it's like a big sour apple. Let's open it up with a little bit of berry character. Some brown sugar, a little caramel, lots of fruits though. Touch of heat, a lot of sweetness. Smells great. Let's get into the palate here. Cheers. Hmm, interesting. Not getting a ton of flavor on the palate just yet. First sip, definitely left with some lingering bitterness, some brown sugar, sweetness. I didn't get as much of the fruit as I picked up on the nose on this first taste, but let me get another one and we'll see where we're at. All right, second taste, definitely more of the fruit characters. Lots of berry, a little bit of light fruits. And I'm predominantly getting it more on like the sides of my tongue than on the middle, but finish is relatively short. Does not, doesn't seem to last too long. Mm, call it a medium finish. Um, I definitely feel like the nose is a little bit better than the palate on this guy. Yeah, I love, I mean, we got, like I said, the dark fruits, the, the apple, the berry, the brown sugar, the caramel still. Touch of vanilla. Not picking up on much wood. Very sweet on the nose, though. Let's give it one more taste here. Hmm. Yeah, I feel like it's a little thin on the palate. Finish is a little short. I'm a little confused on the proof. It's got quite a bit of a burn on the tongue, but it just doesn't have the flavor that would go with a much higher proof whiskey like it feels like on the tongue. I mean, it drinks like it's 100 proof, but it's got a burn like it's more. So I'm kind of confused where we're at on the... God, it just smells so good though. It's remin this one's kind of reminiscent of the review I just put out with the 1792 where it's like you just had this amazing nose, but the palate just doesn't deliver what the nose kind of sets you up for. So, hmm, let me get one more quick taste. I don't feel like this is something I've had before. Maybe it is. I don't know. I'm really confused by this whiskey. Anyways, like I said, when it, on the palate, it feels like it's like a 90 proof whiskey. It's got a bit more of a burn to it. So I don't know. We're in 90, 100. I couldn't tell you. I'm really thrown by this one at the moment. Um, as for a rating, I think it, smells great. I think it tastes good. 
Uh, again, it's just one of those scenarios where I wish it delivered what the nose sets you up for because it really lets you down when you get this great aroma on the nose and the palate just isn't, doesn't match it. So I'm going to say with the caveat that I've spent you know two minutes with this whiskey, maybe three in this review, um, you need to spend more time with your whiskey. But I'm going to give this, I think it's decent, I'm going to give it an 81. I think it's good tasting whiskey. There's good flavors there. The nose is great. I just wish it brought a little more power with it, but let's see what it is. This is, <laughs> this is the 1792 High Rye. So this was open for about four months when I put it in the sample bottle. Um, I will link the original review up here if you want to check that out. So you can kind of see my thoughts on it then. I definitely feel like this has died down over the time that it's been open. So in that four months, this, this, as I recall, had some more robust qualities to it when I first drank it. And now it's just drinking kind of thin. Um, like I said, it's got some burn on the palate, but it just doesn't have the flavor to go along with it. It feels really thin on the palate. So I think this tasted better, and I think I gave it a much better score when I originally reviewed it. I'll put that score on the screen so you know what I originally gave it. But I think it definitely drank better um, when it was a freshly opened bottle. So. Take that for what you will. If you have one of these bottles, drink it quicker than uh, sooner than later so you can kind of get some more of those flavors going on. Um, other than that, let me know what you think. I asked you this in the last video, but I'd love to still hear what your guys' favorite 1792 expression is out of all the different ones they have. You know, we've got the bottled and bond, the sweet wheat, the high rye, the port finish, the full proof. They've got tons of them. So let me know what your favorite is down below. As always, you can follow me on Instagram and Twitter at blind underscore reviews. You can send me an email at blind whiskey reviews. That's whiskey with an E at gmail.com. And until next time, cheers.